In today's video, we're going to be discussing five very common nutrition mistakes that most of us are making on a weekly, if not daily basis. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I make weekly vlogs and informational videos on how to lead a healthy lifestyle on the go, even with your busy mom schedule. When I began thinking through this video, I couldn't help but find myself reflecting on all the mistakes I've made in the past. And quite frankly, even today, when it comes to attempting to live my most optimal and healthy life. Believe me, I was the first one to jump on the bulletproof coffee trend, and I'm still even a huge fan today. But then I went immediately into intermittent fasting, paleo, keto, vegan, and during the time, none of this was hard for me because I was so dedicated to these trends and I really believed in them. And I still am a huge fan of many of these diets and lifestyles. However, fast forward to today, and I don't think any of these helped me with my adrenal burnout and my blood sugar issues. So that's exactly what we're gonna to discuss today. Understanding some very common nutritional mistakes and how to ensure that the choices you make are what's best for you and your body's constitution. The point is, we all make mistakes when it comes to our health and our well-being. Here are some of the common ones that I see and easy ways to fix them with a solution that's unique just to you. The first one we're gonna to discuss today is jumping on a health trend bandwagon that simply may not just be the right fit. I can think of many examples, but the one that seems relevant at this time is intermittent fasting. Quite simply, there are just some people who don't benefit from intermittent fasting. As I mentioned earlier, in particular, those who have adrenal fatigue or blood sugar concerns. In some cases, waiting so long to eat isn't healthy at all. It can raise your cortisol levels and add to adrenal fatigue with the potential of making it even more difficult to manage your blood sugar levels. However, on the flip side, intermittent fasting has been fantastic for many people, especially some of those that are suffering from some deeper autoimmune diseases. The second common mistake I hear over and over again is being afraid of fat. Are we still afraid of fat? It is 2018. Strangely enough, when I worked with clients, I would still frequently hear this incredible misconception. And I get it. Many of us were raised on non-fat or low-fat foods. After all, that was what was healthy in the 80s and 90s. Therefore, it might be a really big struggle and a push outside of your comfort zone to consume the amount of fat that's actually recommended, like an avocado. But healthy fats are essential to managing blood sugar levels, supporting a healthy metabolism, and providing a sustainable energy. Fat burns long and slow, which is a very good thing for the body, while sugar burns really fast. Now, this does not give you a pass to eat crappy saturated fats that are cheap vegetable oils. I'm looking at you, canola. I'm referring to the healthy fats that are found in things like wild salmon, avocado, MCT oil, coconut oil, or coconut milk, olive oil, avocado oil, walnut oil, nuts, seeds, ghee, and even grass-fed butter in moderation. Okay, moving on to our third common mistake, and this is one that I see a lot, and that is eating right and exercising, but not emphasizing sleep. I find myself having this conversation more frequently than you would think. Someone will say to me, but I'm doing everything right. And they go over their diet, their exercise routine, and I wonder if there's anything I can do to help them or give them advice. I honestly wonder to myself, how could they have any of these issues at all? Then I do a little bit of digging and get into the part about their sleep. And that's where I find these two really big mistakes. They're either getting not enough sleep or they're getting to bed so late that they're missing out on restorative sleep. There are no awards given to the least amount of sleep needed to function or who can stay up the latest. Without proper sleep, all of your hard work and habits will not help you thrive. Your body has to rest, repair, and rejuvenate nightly. In scientific terms, poor sleep increases the hormone cortisol. This does some pretty terrible things. It speeds up the aging process, slows down muscle repair and growth, and it increases your appetite. And above all of that, it makes it more difficult to stay focused during your waking hours. All of this aside, it's incredibly hard for the body to burn fat on little sleep. Okay, the fourth common nutrition mistake that I see is eating the same thing day in and day out. I am no stranger to this mistake. It's something I still find myself struggling with. I know it makes life really easy and less complicated to eat the same thing every single day, but you're limiting your options, and by limiting your options, you're limiting your exposure to other nutrients. Mixing up your fruits, vegetables, whole grains and leafy greens is a great way to keep your system balanced. In addition, it also reduces food sensitivities. 
eating variety foods in addition to well-balanced meals is really important. At the very least, if you're committed to being a creature of habit, add in a green juice every single day to boost your nutrient intake. Okay, the fifth and the last common mistake that I see over and over again is obsessing and stressing about your health and nutrition. This mistake is probably going to become an entirely separate video and a long one for that matter because orthorexia is certainly something that I struggled with in the past. It's a really common issue in my industry and it needs to be explored and more than I can do in this small video, but I did want to touch on it briefly. When a healthy lifestyle and a clean diet becomes an obsession or a stress, we have a problem. We do not want you to have anxiety around food. That's it. That is very counterproductive to your well being, and it's also a really negative habit to be consumed with absorbing so much information in a day when it comes to being healthy and leading a healthy lifestyle. We can't help but become a little caught up in the kale, kefir, superfoods, probiotics, and everything in between. If you can't manage a day without having healthy options, for example, an airport travel day means you simply just don't eat, that's a time that you may need to take a step back. If the fear of eating food that doesn't meet your perfect high expectation and standards stresses you out to the point where you're not eating, then that could be a key indicator that it's time to find a new balance and to reevaluate your diet. Stress is behind so many chronic illnesses such as autoimmune disease, adrenal fatigue, mental health, and gut health issues and it's not to be taken lightly. I hope you enjoyed this video and please let me know in the comment section down below some of the nutrition mistakes that you've made in the past, how you were able to overcome them and thrive and lead a healthy lifestyle. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all very soon.